Praise God. Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. It has been five years since the summer of 2011 where I dedicated that summer to seek the Father, and He met me where I was, and I started speaking in tongues after my mother prayed for me. And I received so many spiritual gifts and and the opportunity to go to heaven and to see him and to experience his glory and his joys. Um, and it's been a really fun ride ministering to you all on YouTube and Facebook and uh, calling and stuff like that. And I truly appreciate it so much. I just want to talk to you guys and say that every day I'm growing to be better. To minister better and to be just more Christ-like through the ongoing work of the Holy Spirit that he's doing in my life and just in the word and in prayer um, I started fasting with people so if you want to have a Bible study on the phone or on Skype um, or just fast just pick a day to fast together we could do that um, that is most fun to me. Uh, just even if you're interested in communing with other believers, that is wonderful. So if you if you're interested in that, just get at me. You know, what's up? <laughs> um, the Lord, so. I was in college in the summer of 2011 and I actually dropped out for like a year, then I went back, but I've actually went back again, then dropped out again. <laughs> um, I started working, um, started learning from the Lord. I. Yeah, I started doing this internship thing, but, you know, I often thought about, you know, whether I was wasting my life. You know, the plan is to get married, well, go to college, get a bachelor's by 21, get a master's by 23, get married by the, before the age of 30, like maybe age 26 or 27, have your dream job by that time and then by the time you're 30 make sure you have a child on the way well that's what the world teaches you okay and i've given this a lot of thought <laughs> well and I, I i've often struggled with am i wasting my time but i'm not <laughs> the lord has blessed me the lord has granted me the most amazing privilege to take some time and have people support me while I do this <laughs> but just for the last five years to take the time and to know God without interruption just spend time with him just love on him and have him love on me and that is the reason why God created us for for us to enjoy it to enjoy him and that he is to enjoy us and all reverence and all glory. And I just had all this time, all these blessings, all this, the things that he's given me, the things I don't even deserve, material things and spiritual things and symbolic things. <laughs> and I've shared them with you over the years. You know, I have my angel views, my other videos and all this stuff. You know, I, and ministering and everything else, but I've I have prayed to God before the summer of 2011 to know Him and to know Him abundantly. I've prayed for years to know His person, and He took me away from my world in the summer of 2011. All of my world, <laughs> my best friends, my school my my plans for my future and changed them, turned them all upside down and made them better. <sighs> I 
the Lord is remarkable and I've realized that I'm not wasting my time but I'm fulfilling my purpose which is to know him and I can't affect others in a positive way the way I want to in, in the name of Jesus without knowing him because the greatest commandment is to love the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. But likewise, love others as yourself. You can't love others as yourself. You can't do the, the second part without first achieving the first part. Or, you know, working to achieve the first part. <laughs> um, and the Lord has, has been ah, chilling, chilling, you know, the selfishness and pride and arrogance and out of me and I have just become more in love with God I God and I are one okay I'm sorry we're one <laughs> actually I'm not sorry but he's like my best friend he's more real to me than a human more real to me than any person anything any material object he's my world in case you guys thought I changed or well maybe you didn't know I'm more me than ever <laughs> I, I am just in awe of the Lord's work and what he's, he's been doing in my life because for the longest time, I wasn't sure. It was, what he was doing with me was so unconventional. I never heard of it. Just test after test and just him telling me to wait, stay home, wait, wait for the longest time. I didn't get it. I'm wasting my time. People are doing this. People are doing that. And it's just like, in this season of my life, I can honestly say I've spent it well. I spent it very well and I'm so grateful. Sometimes God puts us, brings us to seasons that we don't think are like, we think it's a waste of time, but it's not. You don't realize it now, but you have a greater purpose for why you're going through what you're going through. Even if it's bad, but even if it's not and it just seems odd, like why am I doing this? This seems boring, I should be doing something else. You're, you're doing what exactly what you're supposed to do. And I've realized this recently. <sighs> the purpose is to live and love God. And love from all your strength, heart, mind, and soul. And that's what I'm doing. But he just provided a, an easy way for me to do that. So then I could go on, go into all the world and spread the seeds that he has planted in me. Do the ongoing of the Holy Spirit to shower on others. So... I feel like I'm no longer wasting my life. There's no greater purpose that, that I can ever work on than being in prayer with the Lord. There's no greater thing. There's no better experience than being with the Lord. <laughs> so, I just wanted to share that with you. And God bless you.